Hi guys, I'm Megha and welcome to Perky Makes. So today's video is another video in the series Happiness with Megha where I talk about positivity and happiness in life. So today I'll be sharing with you all uh, some activities that I have been following uh, in the last few years and which have made quite a great positive change in my life I feel so I wanted to share it with you guys because you know I'm all about a positive and happy life so before we move forward you can follow me on Instagram for more such updates I share uh, different videos wherever I watch for positivity and happiness through Instagram stories. So you can follow me there, my Instagram handle is Perky Makes. And without further ado, let's start the video. So girls, first thing that I have adopted in the last four or five years in my life and which has made a huge difference in my life is doing meditation as soon as I get up. And in the last uh, half an hour before night before sleeping these two times are really important and if you do meditation in these uh, two times uh, it it goes into your subconscious and uh, whatever you are affirming uh, whether it's peace it's happiness it's prosperity it comes in your life so I do uh, this religiously as soon as I get up I just go to washroom and then I start doing meditation for how however time I have like uh, sometimes I have 15 minutes sometimes I have 30 sometimes I have 45 minutes so I usually do it for half an hour right in the morning as soon as I get up and uh, before sleeping also uh, I take out that 10 minutes 15 minutes slot for meditation so I just wanted to share with you all that this really impacts in a really really good way i affirm for happiness i affirm for positivity i do you know a uh, meditation for mental peace so this is the first thing that i've adopted uh, in my lifestyle and it has made a huge difference in how i think today about life and about everything now the second thing which i have started doing only from the past i think three years is that i do not look at my phone uh, for about two to three hours in the morning, you know, usually we have a habit. I also did this uh, that as soon as I used to get up, I used to, you know, just start my phone, check WhatsApp, check Instagram, check YouTube. And you know what happens? You don't realize you waste a lot of time. Uh, there is a lot of time loss. And you know what normally happens? I, I'm not saying it happens with everyone. But you know, uh, when you're feeling low and you open suddenly Instagram and you see a travel blogger, you know, enjoying life photos, uh, you know, traveling to great places, posting great photos, and you feel low about your life. And as soon as you are finished surfing through Instagram, your mood is quite low and you feel that uh, I enjoy and my life is dull and all that. The social media, I would say, is... Uh, is really corrupting us and it is making us feel more depressed rather than happy so uh, I just don't look at social media even I am a social media influencer but I don't look at my phone in the first two to three hours in the morning because that is a time for my full productivity for my positivity my happiness so uh, this I have started doing in the last three years and I have seen a huge difference in my mood shift in the morning and you know when your morning uh, starts right everything all the day goes really well so just uh, you know uh, just try it and I'm sure you will love it now the third thing that I feel is really important is to give time for ourselves in the morning so after right after I do meditation I do some kind of you know physical exercise like going for a walk or doing yoga doing breathing exercise anything that makes me feel really good about myself you know whenever you go to a park you will instantly feel really really nice in the morning and in the evening so i have started doing this and uh, it has changed it has really changed how my mood starts in the morning so i would say just give one hour to yourself in the morning and you will see the difference and 
यू नो डोंट थिंक दैट यार इतने टाइम में मैं कुछ और कर लेती या मेरे पास इतना टाइम नहीं है बिकॉज यू हैव टाइम इन द वर्ल्ड यू हैव टू टेक आउट टाइम फॉर योर सेल्फ बिकॉज इफ यू आर नॉट हैप्पी यू कैन नॉट कीप योर फैमिली हैप्पी यू कैन की कैन नॉट कीप योर बेबी योर पार्टनर हैप्पी सो योर हैप्पीनेस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वॉट यू हैव यू कैन गिव अदर्स इफ यू डोंट हैव हैप्पीनेस इफ यू आर नॉट फीलिंग नाइस अबाउट योर सेल्फ यू कैन नॉट गिव हैप्पीनेस टू योर फैमिली so just take out time for yourself so this third thing do anything whatever you like do zumba do aerobics go to a park go for a walk go yo- do yoga do breathing exercise anything that makes you know that gives time for yourself in the morning now fourth thing that i do uh, in the morning right after this physical kind of exercise is to watch one motivational video not too much but watch one so uh that video can be like the channels that i usually watch are uh, abraham hicks unlimited they have a lot of good videos louis hay a uh, videos i love uh, that woman uh, she's she has she has such a sweet magical voice and uh, whenever i was in the lowest phase of life someone recommended me her video and uh, which was you can heal your life and i think it's amazing so you can check out like louis hay videos on youtube uh, then uh, i love to watch uh, this uh, channel called be inspired um, then i love to watch uh, tedx videos sometimes because yes there are a lot of people who have done so much in life and you feel inspired uh, whenever you see those kind of videos so you don't have to keep on watching those videos i just watch one and that is sufficient and then i start my day the next thing i i have started doing uh, recently uh, now the next thing that i've started uh, doing in the last 3 years when i uh, when i have st- when i had started my channel was to plan my work yes i absolutely love planning my work in advance like i am pregnant and uh, i will go to maternity break soon but i have because of planning of my work i have already shot the videos in advance all the pregnancy scenes and everything so that when i will be on leave you will still be able to watch me on my channel and there will be no gap so that has come with a discipline of planning my work and i think it has like it has been such a blessing for me and my professional career and i think uh, because of right kind of a planning i have been able to you know get little bit of success in this field earlier i didn't used to plan my work when i was in a professional you know uh, corporate world but when i shifted to doing video full time i have become a really nice planner and i spend at least half an hour every day to plan my work what i will do today what i will do tomorrow and uh, i plan my videos in advance so i would say you also plan your work accordingly so that nothing is left out uh, for your children for your family for your professional for your personal you know aspect you should plan things so that nothing is left out and you can do everything easily and effectively so planning is really really important now the sixth thing that i've learned and i have applied in my life in the last one year uh and i've seen huge difference uh, you all know i shifted to my new house this house uh, last year and i just kept in mind that i have to keep my furniture minimalistic uh, i read somewhere that there are dark places like places which are totally stuffed uh dark places like places um uh, behind uh you know almiras below almiras below uh, beds and you know when you stuff too much things in house there is no space of positive vibrations to flow so you should only uh, have things that you need and keep the space you know really spacious so that the positive vibrations can move in your house so I have not done a home tour yet on my channel but I can tell you that I don't have a lot of furniture in my house I've kept it quite sp- I have kept it quite uh, minimalistic and there is a lot of free space so that positive vibrations can easily easily flow at my house so I have started doing all these things like I clean my wardrobe I keep my wardrobe really 
uh, tidy. And I saw this amazing uh, series on Netflix called Marie Kondo, you know, tidying up with Marie Kondo, where she explained how to, you know, fold clothes so that they are organized for a very, very long time. Otherwise, what happens, you know, clothes get uh, unorganized within a week and then it takes a lot of tasks to again organize it and then again in a week <laughs> it gets untidy. So according to her method, when I've started, uh, you know, arranging my Almira, everything is sorted out and uh, it looks really tidy. So these are all the things that uh, keep the house positive. I always donate my clothes in a regular interval. So you guys always ask, what do you do with so many clothes? So I keep on, you know, circulating them, donating them so that there is a positive flow in life and uh, I don't get stuck with too much stuffing. So I have uh, read this concept and I started following it in my life that uh, I have to keep my everything minimalistic and I have to keep everything uh, tidy and arranged and uh, I have to give a lot of free space at my home and following all this has really created positivity in my life so that I wanted to share it with you. Now the next thing that I feel is really really important and someone told me long time back and I immediately followed it and it made a huge difference was not to watch anything negative before sleeping yes sleeping time is a time when you go in a kind of meditation state because your subconscious mind is active so if you watch something negative like news or any you know negative drama anything heavy something you will feel that when you wake up in the morning you don't feel good uh, because in the subconscious mind that thing goes so i do not watch anything negative or heavy or traumatic in the night i always you know uh, end my day with something uh, lightweight and uh, i uh, end my day with 15 minutes meditation so this thing has really really impacted the way my mind works the day i feel next day in the morning so you should also try it i think it's really really beneficial and the last thing that i followed which has given me a lot of happiness is following satvik movement i cannot talk enough about this channel because i absolutely loved uh, this woman called subha jain i joined her workshop uh, this is a channel all about health uh, you know with plant-based diet plant-based food and when i fall i don't follow it in the pregnancy but before pregnancy i, I followed it and it made my life so amazing. I never felt so good about my body uh, until I followed her. And I followed first uh, her videos and then I uh, joined her workshop, a day workshop. And then I followed it religiously. Uh, not completely, I would be honest, because uh, there are a lot of strict rules about how you cook your food and everything. But other than that, I followed it quite, uh, I think, 80% and it made huge difference in my life and pregnancy I couldn't follow it because you know I was scared I could not uh, leave dairy because people say and doctors say milk is important for baby eggs are important for baby so in the pregnancy I couldn't follow it but as soon as I'll deliver I will follow it again because it it made my life really I think it made a really good impact in my life and I have found something which will make me feel great about my body again. So uh, that is something that I wanted to share with you guys. I've shared a lot of times earlier on both my channels because my aim is to share it with you all things positive, all things happy and as, as much as I can, I will definitely share it with you. So guys, this is all about eight things that I followed in my life that uh, gave me positivity that gave me happiness and that continue to give me positivity so i wanted to share it with you all i hope you all liked it if you want me to take up some other topic in this series of happiness with mega so uh, you can surely let me know in the comment section below and if you want to check out more videos in this series you can go to my playlist called happiness with mega and there you can find more buzz, uh, more videos on positivity, happiness and everything. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to Perky Makes Hindi for more interesting videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for all my quick updates. My Instagram handle is Perky Makes. Video next on another interesting video. Feel beautiful, be stylish. Bye bye.